Let us stream some Dwarf Fortress if I can make the ping work in Discord. Doesn't seem to be working. Oh well. <laughs> Never mind. So, Dwarf Fortress. We're going to do a little bit of Dwarf Fortress. We are Region 3, I think. This was saved Sunday, October 7th. Today, in the early hours of the morning. That sounds right to me. <laughs> so we're going to play some more Dwarf Fortress. About half an hour. And... Uh, then I'm going to get some co-hosts. I'm going to do a, uh, a group stream. Should be fun. Until then, we're going to have a little bit of fun with our little fort here. So we've got quite a few idlers. Probably partly because we've got no mining set up. Oh, one of my miners is making charcoal. But he doesn't have charcoal making set. Oh, wood burning is how you make charcoal. Okay. I hadn't registered that. We don't need to make any charcoal though, do we? Because we have, um... Darn it, Christo. <laughs> I'm in the MAMT next to this team meeting right now. <laughs> Tell them they could be doing something far more fun. <laughs> also, release whatever it is. <laughs> release the Dharma. Or not Dharma, the one that makes that update. <laughs> don't worry, we're only going to do about half an hour today. New stream, hey sub. Some Nautica, how are you doing? Hey, Zeph. Zeph, could you link it in the, uh, um, this quote doesn't seem to be working right now. I couldn't seem to do it. All right. So we've got our fully armored up dude. Is this him? No. What are you doing in that room? Oh, he's smoothing the floor. Where is he? I have to take a look. Because Ulm, no, not, is it Ulm? I think it is Ulm. No, it's not Orm. That's right, it's Weird. Weird is the guy we gave it all to. Weird, the militia counts in. Oops. Inactive. What's this? I just hit Z. I can create new citizens? What am I doing? Oh, God. Um, cancel job. Remove worker. What have I done? <laughs> if I close it and reopen it? Okay. Weird. Uh, Zed to go to unit. He's got steel! Steel breastplate. Although I'm guessing the little tag minuses mean it's not very good. Just get the Twitch app and follow. You'll never miss a stream unless you're asleep. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. The helmet. He's got a steel greaves, steel battle axe. Nice. Okay, we need to... Um, Get some more plump helmet farming area just to just to have the expansion area ready ahead of time. Although actually not quite that much. Good. <clears throat> now, we need some more mining jobs assigned because our miners are lazing around. So let's get uh let's expand the stone storage area. Puppies! More puppies! Oh, the uh, Elven Caravan has arrived. That's a lot of stone. It is a lot of stone. You're not wrong. We need to rebuild the trade depot. Sorry about the sirens, by the way. Some selfish tossers committing crimes in my city. Uh, where do we... Ch -ch 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 trade depot. D. Very sensible. Let's put that right there. More freaking... Oh, someone's visiting. A swords dwarf. Nice. We can add him to our band of adventurers. More puppies. So many puppies. I'm going to let... Uh... Oh, another hammer dwarf is visiting too. We're going to get so many freaking uh... adventurers just sitting around ready to fight for us. Isn't creating space to spore stone by mining out stone counterintuitive? Your man has a point. <laughs> Stop to make stone from bitumus, need bitumus coal. We have no bitumus. Okay. Uh, Basilius, if you're still in chat, I need advice. What's the best way to mine for bitumus? It's that, isn't it? That's the bitumus. So I guess this is some. Should I just strip mine layers where I find it? That seems sensible to me. A bit of iron to grab. Because where else have we seen it? Is that? No. 
I don't think we saw any on our deeper strip mining. Petitions available. He wants to eradicate monsters. Of course. Oh, we're called Tombs Flight, it looks like. Cool. I approve. Hey! Migrants as well. Nice. God, we're getting freaking flooded. <gasps> we finally have children? No, those are just the petition guys. Alright, the elves are here, so we need to trade with the elves. Congresso owns London and is the British Batman confirmed. <laughs> okay, new dwarves. Oh, we need to wait for them to enter the scene, I remember. And then we'll have to trade with these first. Okay. Now, dwarf therapist. Sorry, excuse me a second. Okay. So, some new guys. Uh, not many new guys. Oh, I'm not red yet. Oh, good lord. Oh my Jesus Christ. That's a crap ton of migrants. We just doubled in size. Holy crap. <laughs> this is insane. What are you? A siege operator. Pump operator. Okay. That's a lot of people. We finally got a child. Cool. And we got a... Uh, an axe dwarf, or is that a hammer? We've got a hammer dwarf, a crossbowman, an archer, an axe dwarf of our own, and two crossbowmen now make up our defense. That seems like a good number to me. Is this spreadsheet simulator? No, you, you do some of the interactions through here, but most of it actually go through, uh, go through on the main page. All right, so what are you? He's an animal caretaker, because he has one point in animal caretaking. Good Lord. He is not very useful. She is not very useful. She's a good judge of intent. We've already got our... So yeah, let's start at the top of the list. Who's, uh, who's the first new guy? Uh, you. Ushat is a carpenter. Three carpenters honestly doesn't upset me. So let's, let's turn off the, wood, the stone detailing on our fighters. You're a fighter, right? Oh no, you're new. Uh, father is a fighter. We'll turn it off on him because I want him to remain a fighter. And yeah, on you, on Jesus and the Holy Spirit, we'll also turn off wood stone detailing. God, that freaking snowstorm is so loud. Let me turn it down. <laughs> I don't know if it's as loud on your end, but it's crazy loud. Yuki's working. Fabulous. Okay, so the new carpenter. Do they do the jobs left to right? I feel like they don't. I feel like they haul as a priority. Maybe it's right to left. Don't know. So we've got our four miners. Good. Wait, did I name you? I don't remember naming this guy. But he has some things turned off, so I must have done it. Given I'm, I'm deaf, very little sounds on your end. Fair enough. Well, what I'll do, I'll turn it up to the normal level. And I'll just turn my master volume down on my headset. That way you guys can still get some sounds. Okay, so Ushat, you're the new carpenter and you're going to do all our stone, lots, not all of, but lots of our stone detailing, please. We, do, we have no woodcutters? No, that's right, Untok is our woodcutter. So what are we going to call this guy? You could be doctor, he could be Subnautica. We haven't got a Subnautica. He's not really a doctor though, is he? <laughs> stone detailing. Detail. He's mine, he's mini. No, my new. He's my, min, min you. As in, like, part of minute, like, minute details. Seems good. Okay, next up. Zan. Zan is a mason, but not a good mason. We've got two masons already, so I don't want him to be a mason. You can be a... Um, we need more furnace operators. So people with low military stats get furnace operator. Zan. He's got okay toughness. His armor and shield use are both low. He's a good student. Hey Gandalf, how you doing? He's an okay student. Should we put him in the military? Hmm. How would you be, uh, how are you like discipline wise? He's an okay kicker. If you wanted to be an axe dwarf, not so good. Hammer dwarf. He doesn't seem that good on stats. I think I'm looking for 50% basically. I don't know how realistic that is, but he's an okay ambusher. I think we put you into the Stokers. 
you can be uh, you can be Stoke. <laughs> and Stoke, my man, your job is to operate furnaces. Commit. Good. Dwarves have masons. Do they have secret beard plats? <laughs> Not that kind of mason. Yeah, he's our furnace operator. Now we have three of those. That should be enough for now, I think. Toulon, you are an animal caretaker. Take caretaker. What else are you good at? Not much, really. When it says that the top stats are like leader and liar, it basically means they're useless, <laughs> as far as I can tell. He's strong. He's a good student. <clears throat> we should make him an axe dwarf. 47's higher than some of the other ones we've been seeing. He's got loads of strength. So we should make him an axe dwarf, and then he can learn from Weird. Because he's a, he's, a he's a good student. Is Weird a good teacher? Hey! No, that's the wrong one. Uh, yeah, he is! Nice! So Weird's going to be able to teach all our guys. K T tear caker. Throw cakes at holes. What? <laughs> This stream is very intense. My PC might crash. Mm. This is brilliant. So Weird is going to teach all of our our new students. Okay, so you're going to go under Weird. And all our Axe Dwarves can have names like... So you're strange. <laughs> Commit. Okay, and strange. Congratulations. You are joining the Puzzling Daggers. But it's not the Puzzling Daggers. It's... The puzzling axes. Okay. And who was it we're adding? I call him weird, right? Or strange. Where is he? He might not be on the uh, on the map yet. Let's unpause for a second. Axes to electric boogaloo. Need flux stones. We're out of flux stones. We've been making a lot of steel, apparently. All right, here they all are. Oh, another guy's visiting. A mace dwarf. We're getting so many free workers. Free free soldiers. It's great. Alright, Reed. Alright, Strange. <clears throat> I'd love you to join the puzzling axes. Ah, there we go. Where is Strange? Did I not name him? Maybe I didn't commit the name change. No, he's called Strange. What am I missing here? Am I just missing him in the list? It's entirely plausible. Uh, what was his original name? And what's his profession? Idledom. Idendledom, whatever. And he is a, uh, a caretaker. An animal caretaker. Hmm. What's your name? It's strange. Who am I to judge? Um, I don't see an idle dumb in this list. Maybe he's still not on the screen? There were a lot of migrants that arrived. Let's wait. Yeah, there's still people coming in. It was a freaking long queue of, uh, of migrants coming in. Good lord. Another petition. Absolutely. We're called Tombs Flight. Which is a great name, by the way. He wants to reside here. I approve. Eventually we're going to have to stop because we'll have like food problems, I guess. But honestly, I don't mind getting... Look how freaking many blooming migrants there are. <laughs> There's a ton of them. All right, now. Puzzling axes. Strange. There he is. Oh, I misspelled strange, I think. <laughs> no, that's about right. It's just abbreviated in-game. Okay, so Strange, you're going in here, and you want uh, a sign uniform, you're going to wear metal armor. <clears throat> no, not you, long shot man. Strong is going to have metal armor. Yeah, good. And weird, let's just toggle on metal armor, and then edit metal armor. I can't believe I didn't, that didn't occur to me earlier. Uh, yeah, metal armor, you get metal armor, metal headgear, metal legwear. Individual choice melee. Well, let's just make a new uniform and then make them the axe uniform. That should be cool. 
should work. Uh, new uniform. How do I do that? C. Add uniform. Uh, control M to name. Yep. This is Axe Dwarf. Uh, can I copy our existing one? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so armor made out of metal. And then what do I do? Add item or something? Yeah, shift A. Armor. They need a male shirt. They'll need a breastplate. Um, is that it? Don't know. This is early. It's only 7:40 for me. You're in uh, you're in California, Santos. Is that right? Or somewhere over there? Legs. He'll want greaves. He can choose his other clothes. I think we'll just tell him the actual like armored bits. I think we're supposed to tell him to have long clothes, long skirts, but I can't remember. Helm, he wants a headwear and a helm. Or are they the same? Or is this just telling, is just saying metal armor just means just pick whatever you want. Whereas if we say male shirts and breastplates, he gets those. Let's assume it's that. Gloves, he'll want gauntlets. Boots, he'll want high, high boots. Shield. I want a shield, not a buckler. Weapon. I want him to have a battle axe. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, now we're going to say specifically. Oi, oi, what's going on? Axe dwarf. Uh, the mail shirt must be made out of metal. The rest plate, metal. Wait, did it actually set that? No, you have to do enter. Metal. 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 Oops. Took it out. With a glove. No. What wasn't it? Greaves? Aren't they gloves? What did I take out? It was gl gl gloves, wasn't it? Hmm. Oregon, North California. Fair enough. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, the heater. Sure. Um, boots. Helm? What was it we took off him? I told you that'd be careful there, Yes. <laughs> it's the, uh, the Greaves. Mother? I didn't say mother. It's my girlfriend, not my mother. <laughs> I'm just unplugging things. <laughs> Metal boots. Shield we want made out of wood. And then the battle axes make sure they pick up the steel battle axe. Okay, so that's the Axe Dwarf uniform set. Okay, so now, if we go into the puzzling axes... See you later. We should be able to set... Uh, you... Assign uniform... Uh, uniforms... And then... Shift you. No. How do you do this? Un units... Him... Now uniforms. Now control you should sign uniforms. Well, how do we how do we do it again? Can you invite mother to sing? No. <clears throat> I don't remember how you do it now. We just cracked it last time. Equip. Assign uniform. Yes, okay. You guys are axe dwarves. And you will dress accordingly good 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 we've fixed it we sorted it out now next up Sigun Sigismund he's an animal dissector he's also okay at stone detailing well who am I to say otherwise uh, having a second mason Lambert's ha struggling to get all the work done that seems fine this can be Logan commit cool what else are you doing Animal dissection. I'll leave it on, even though I don't think he's ever going to do it. Next up, you. Who are you? A weaponsmith. Oh, a really good weaponsmith. Nice. Geographically speaking, not politically, Oregon is Belgium compared to France and the Netherlands, just in case you Brits don't know American geography. I do know where Oregon is, actually. Oregon Trail, man. Awesome. So he's our weaponsmith. He can uh, take over from a moor. 
who's going to just do our armor from now on. Oh, who shouldn't be doing blacksmithing, because we just got a great blacksmith as well. Nice. Very nice. Okay. I'm really pleased about this guy. How old is he? 63. <clears throat> awesome. He's also a wax worker. Cool. Well, he can do that if we ever have any wax. <laughs> but mostly he's going to make our axes, which makes this guy Axel. Cool. Next up, we have our new blacksmith, which makes you... Hmm... Coal. Coal's black. Blacksmith. It works. He can make our coal, and he's also good at... Oh, good! He's a mechanics guy. So if we need some siege stuff, he can do it. Nice. Next up, you are already an assigned gentleman. Hire Whitesmith. That makes no sense. My character is a colony freeloader. I can't remember what you do. <laughs> Who are you again? Gothmog. Gothmog... Uh, here. What are you again? Yeah, you really do do nothing, don't you? You help out with gem cutting. And then nothing else. <laughs> well, considering you're not very good at gem cutting, and we actually need someone to get good at gem cutting, so we don't really want to split the skills, you can do some, some stone detailing. You'll be busy forever, because I'm going to detail all of the floors in the world. <clears throat> You know Oregon is based on a 30-year-old video game, nine-tenths of which takes not place in Oregon, even even if hardly in Oregon territory. I never played the game, actually. I just watched a video about the Oregon Trail recently. Uh, Alright, Id... Igud Tier is a stone crafter. A great stone crafter. Nice. What is that gender symbol? What? Often feels lustful. <laughs> Okay. He's got 13 stone crafting. So we should check out Id and Axel and see if they're vampires. And we, I was told one of the ways you could see this was by finding them in the list, Axel, and looking at their relationships. He has no serious too many relationships, so I don't think he's a suspicious, suspicious one. And the other one was, um, who's the other one? I'm going to be the number one gem cutter in the collie. No, you're level one. Now go sand down the floor. They're probably a mimic. A mimic's even things. All right, id. We want to look into id. Id. What's up with you, my man? View unit. Relationships. Just two relationships. That's fine. The only people he has any relationships with are God. <laughs> so what are you again? He's a stone crafter. He's a great stone crafter. Lambert, you are just the mason. You are no longer a stone crafter. Id is taking over. Uh, he's also good at fish dissection. Sure. Dying and strand extraction. Not relevant yet. Could later. So what are you? <coughs> Novlam. Bless you. Bless you again. <laughs> he's Novlam. Because he's the Novo Lambert. <laughs> the new Lambert. <laughs> Commit. Olon, you are a leather worker. Wow, look how good our leather worker's got. Wow. Well, we don't really need another leather worker because this guy's so great at it already. He's good at wood burning. And bre man, not very good at brewing. Let's turn that off. I could have him do some uh, potash making. That seems good. Who's better, you or this guy? This guy's okay at carpentry. We already have two carpenters, though. No, we have like four carpenters. So you two with low skills, you're not going to do any carpentry. So potash-wise, 78.27 versus... Hello, game. 77. All right, well, Olon, you're a bit worse, but he's a great leather worker. I feel like I should let him do some leather working. How about we have you not potash make, you can do stone detailing as well. And then leather making as well. That's fine. We can have two really good. He's a high master leather worker. This guy's a legendary plus three leather worker. That's so good. Crazy. Okay, so you are 
you are second best. So you're a um, you're a bileth, bileth, good, because he's the bi second leather maker. As in like bicycle, not the sexuality. Calm down. <laughs> All right, Cadol, a fish dissector. In other words, he's useless. Um, oh, but he's also good at small animal section. Also pretty useless. How are your military skills? He's strong. He's an okay learner. His toughness is real low. He's remarkably flimsy. Seems like it would be a bad idea to put him in the military. We can make him an archer, though. Goes and tight. <laughs> yeah, we'll make him an archer. Which means he needs a holy name. He can be... Uh, he can be... Uh, John. Oh, no. Let's, let's, let's branch out into other religions. This can be... Uh, this can be Mo. This is Mohammed. Commit. Okay, Mo. You're an archer. Do, do... Do, 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 do. Let's find him in the list. Do, do, do. Mo, the fish dissector. You are now an archer. We now need to assign the archer uniform. He's already got it. Perfect. Perfect. Dalai Lama next. Absolutely. The Dalai Lama can be the next holy figure. <laughs> Vakar, you are very strong and quite tough. Could be good in the military. How are your stats? He's a fish dissector. Welcome to the military, my man. Vakar, you are um, odd. Because he's going to be an axe dwarf. Doo -doo -doo. The puzzling axes have a new member. You'll put him in there. Odd, welcome. And uh, we can equip him, sign a uniform, metal armor. No, nope, wrong guy. Oh, I don't think I ever assigned these guys. I never assigned all the other members the arch uniform. I'm a tool. <laughs> all right, now they're all assigned, though. And you in the puzzling axes, no, metal. No, not metal. Axe dwarf and axe dwarf. Okay, good. Let's just make sure that persists, because I think it might have turned off. No, archer. Axdorf, Axdorf, Axdorf. Great. Okay. Next up, Sibek. Sibek is already a novice discipline guy. He has got zero agility. Uh, that seems pretty bad. How about your labours, man? Sibek, what are you? You are a, a butcher. Level 6 butchery. Not bad. We could let this guy focus on his... Uh, his tanning, although we've already got a tanner here, but he's busy with the with the furnace operating. I think we'll have two butchers, so there's always one of them ready, but when you're not busy butchering, you can become our fourth furnace operator, and that should be enough. What else are you good at? Weaving and gem setting, not relevant right now. So you're the backup, so you can be uh, back. He's the backup... Um, Backup Tanner. Batan, welcome, the backup Tanner. Dobar is a Tanner by trade, but we just. Oh, sorry, you know, he's a backup Butcher, isn't he? Babutch. There we go. Welcome to the colony, Babutch. You are a Tanner, but level 2 Tanning is really not very good. Actually, it's the best we've got in the entire colony. <laughs> All right. Um, how's it moodable wise? It's good. All right. Dave, focus on the furnaces, my man. We've got a new tanner in town. When you're not tanning, because that's not a full-time job, you can floor detail. You can tell we're going hard on the floor detailing. And you can be debt. Because you're detailing lots. I know that's not how you spell detailing, don't worry. <laughs> Cecil, I think we decided you were going to be a brewer. He's got level 2 brewing. We have an 11 brewing. We should probably have two brewers, though. So you can be a brewer and a stone detailer and a furnace operator. Commit. Okay. You are... He's, he's doing lots of jobs. So he's, um, he's multi. 
Okay. Commit. Once we finish dealing with these migrants, by the way, I'm gonna we need to immediately stop playing this game. <laughs> Cecil, what are you? A potash maker? Yes, and a potash maker you will remain. You are Po. Cool. Debrock, you are a wood burner. He's pretty darn good at it too. We've got two great wood burners just entered the field. So George, you no longer need to do any wood burning. These guys are so thrilled because he loves working. Grouchiness after drinking the same old booze. Okay, we need to come up with a new form of booze. Frustration of being unable to practice a craft for too long. You are a crafter. You're, you're, you're a master miner. You're a master miner plus four. <laughs> He's crazy good. Um, do we want two wood burners? We might need it, actually, because we're having bitumous coal problems. Mead. We could make mead. All right, this is going to be uh, tone and two, thing one and thing two on our wood burning. When they're not wood burning, they're furnace operating. Which means we should probably take furnace operating off some of these other people. Like you focus on detailing. Because we've got so many freaking furnace operators right now. But I want to have a huge metal industry. I want to armor like every dwarf. <laughs> it's probably excessive. But we could have every dwarf carrying around a battle axe just in case they get into trouble. Jesus, you're already assigned. Doran, a siege operator, but he sucks at it. You're going in the military, my man. Solon, you suck at everything you do. He's actually okay at gem cutting. What else do you do apart from gem cutting? You're a carpenter. All right, you stop being a gem cutter and Solon can become the new gem cutter. He is going in the military, we don't know where yet. He's a uh, Jemmy. Let's make him Jimmy. So he does gems. Mogom, you are a pump operator. We have no pumps yet. You're going in the military, my man. And final one. Thickod is a surgeon. Oh, he's really good. Surgeon and talented surgeon. Okay, when you're not doing those two things, we need some haulers. Let's make him a hauler. Cheating on a say. I'll be with you in four minutes, Chu. I'm nearly, really, nearly done setting all this up. Uh, so who was my doctor already? We actually don't have a doctor. Okay, for now, you cover all the medical skills except setting bones. No one else can do anything else. Oh, we've got a diagnosis better guy. Okay. So you you can handle dressing wounds, surgery, and suturing for now. So he's 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 uh he's Mitchell. Can you spell Mitchell? Mitchell. Alright, oh, he's Doc. <laughs> I was thinking Doc Mitchell, you know, New Vegas, but that'll do for now. Um Mogom, you're a pump operator. You're going in the so Dorin and Mogom are both going in the military. What kind of military service are they suited for? God, he's so weak and unagile. We'll make him an archer dwarf just so we can stand back, basically. And then Mogom, he's weak across the board. We'll make him an axe dwarf. So, Mogom, you're going to be an axe dwarf, which makes you uh, uh, blessed. No, blessed is holy. We need a, a stranger and a cult name. Um, Mitchell, you need a web too, true. Um... What should we call him? Oops. Some kind of weird Eldritch name. He could be Elder. Eld. Okay, let's just call him straight up Eldritch. <laughs> Welcome, Eldritch. And we're going to need to put Eldritch into the puzzling axes. Uh, Eldritch. Find him in this list. There he is. Eldritch. Welcome. Welcome, my man. We will assign a uniform to you. You are an axe dwarf. And then to the other detachment, Doran is going to be a new archer, which makes him the Dalai Lama. There we go. Welcome, Dalai Lama. God, that was a lot of new migrants, wasn't it? <laughs> Crazy. All right, you're going in the long shots. The Dalai Lama. Dalai La. Welcome. Equip and assign uniform to him. Why is someone an axe dwarf? Jesus, you're in the long shots. You should have archer uniform, not axe dwarf uniform. Dalai Lama gets archer uniform. Make sure these guys all have the right thing. No, Eldritch should have axe dwarf. Okay, and we're going to call it there. 
It spelled, misspelled it. Ah, it's okay. We can fix it. Two L's in Dalai Lama. Okay, there you go. Commit. Okay, well, now that our huge influx of new dwarves has been organized, we have one, two, three, four, five, 14 people in our military out of 44. That seems like a lot. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. We're going to have to expand our... Uh, uh, where is it? Where's our base gone? <laughs> We're going to have to expand our barracks area, for sure. This is not going to be big enough. We'll need more places. Look how many guys are currently training. Getting their archery even better. Nice. But we will deal with all of that next time. I'm going to quickly end the stream and then restart it in just a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. Uh, but just so that this VOD is separate. Those of you watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. I think this is episode 5, you just saw. Because I'm going to cut up the original stream. See you next time. Sorry it's a bit short. But there will be another one up soon. So long.